All right. The power of intention. I intend for this video to uplift the spirits of all sentient beings on the planet. That's a rather large intention. If it works, so be it. And if it doesn't work, so be it. The intention was there. You ever hear this? He had good intentions, right? So, the law of intention, how it works in your behalf if you utilize it. Not many, or some people don't utilize it. Some people don't set the intentions for something, and that's okay. If you do not set the intentions for something, it's actually the collective understanding of what those intentions are that is set. Okay? And we know that the collective understanding of things is at a different level than your understanding of things, sometimes. If you go by the collective's understanding of things, there's a lot of negativity behind it, or wanting, or needing, or that lack field energy. And that's why it doesn't feel so good in the body. But if you set the intention to be higher than the collective's understanding of things, you're going to find that no matter what you're doing, it feels okay in the body. And then if it is a bad behavior of some nature, it will actually dissipate out of your reality. And you'll no longer care to do it, or you'll feel no longing to do it, or it just, yeah, it just disappears. There's, it can't survive the intention. So. I'll give you some intentions or some examples of these. They might sound actually ludicrous, but it is your power to set the intentions. You just give it away to the collective. I allow every word I speak to grant joy, health, and wellness to all beings on the planet. That's an intention you could set. And as a teacher or whatever, you'd be surprised on, well, just, if it, again, if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. And if it does work, it doesn't matter. The intentions that you set aren't supposed to change your reality. They are supposed to uplift you as you go through your reality. Knowing that you have good intentions set ahead of time allows the action to flow better through you. So, as a practice, you could set intentions for weird, goofy things all the time. I allow with every blink of my eye, all beings be blessed with health and wellness. Do I see it? Do I see the change? No. Maybe I do. Maybe the intention was just because I find myself I blink too much. With every smoke of this cigarette, may all beings be granted health and wellness. Set the intentions on your addictions and find out how fast those addictions actually go away because they cannot survive the addiction is a needy type of energy. And by setting your intentions on it, it's like a flashlight being shined on a ghost. And the ghost just, oh, he saw me. It just goes away. Within days, hours, whatever. Again, it's not the practice of looking for the change in your reality. It's the uplifting that is occurring on yourself that is what matters. You are empowering yourself to take charge of your reality and not go by the collective understanding of reality. So, try taking your power back, even if it sounds ridiculous. And make sure that if you forget a couple times, to compliment yourself on how often I do not set intentions. I never set intentions. Wow, it's amazing how I keep forgetting. There should be some kind of medal for that. 
I'd win. So, have fun with that. <laughs>